Uh, Make sure that you yeah. Uh, so yeah, Smokey. Here he uh, is. Nice. Continue tasting it, buddy. Continue tasting your fur, especially after what has been a... It looked like he was biting on his tail for a sec, <laughs> but yeah, now he's just drying it up. I just found an interesting matchup here. So, just pants. Hello, guys. I'm hoping that you've had a great start to Sunday. In our case, it is going to be much different. We were told at the end of yesterday that we we're going to have a cat groomer come into our house and fix Smokey's hair as he'll be coming here with a truck. And yeah, there he hides. So yeah, that's Smokey before he gets groomed. <laughs> well, don't take your paw out on me like that. <laughs> but yeah. It does feel kind of soft. One hour later. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Smokey. Here he Hi. is. <laughs> hello. This is Darren, this yeah. is Ash. Oh, Hi, hello. Hi, dude. Alright. This is the guy that came to our house after grooming the cat. So, looks like Smokey must have had it rough this last hour. Alright. <laughs> well, see you, dude. Okay, if you want to see so... The truck is actually back over there where you can groom your pet. You can see four pictures through the windows of how each pet looks just after being groomed. <laughs> you can tell how funny that first picture is with that cat. It reminds me of that meme of the grumpy cat, but that's funny. But yeah, it did feel a little bit tickly for Smokey this hour. But yeah, you can tell that cat in the first picture looks quite grumpy. Whereas the dog in the same picture, you can tell that he's looking rather enthusiastic. All right, well, there he goes. So we had this cat grooming, cat and dog grooming truck come over at 11 a.m. And it took like 30 to 40 minutes to fix Smokey's hair. Oh man, the lizard. Just found a freaking lizard up here. <laughs> how funny. Anyway, so I'm going to get back in the house now and I'm going to see how Smokey got his hair groomed. Okay, I came back in the house and look. So there's Smokey after he's been groomed. It does look a little bit wet at this point, but just what a new style. Yeah, I mean... He does look like out of the mood at the moment. Yeah, continue tasting it, buddy. Continue tasting your fur, especially after what has been a, whoa. Like you can tell from his legs, like it does look wet at this point. Oh, now he is hiding right back at this shelf there, whereas there's the Marantz radio. He is very wet. Yeah, I mean, still Smokey looks really, really good after having groomed all of that fur. But yeah, I can tell from the back that he's still wet. He still needs some time to dry out. <laughs> oh my God, now he's biting his tail. You see that? Oh, he's well, yeah, his yes. It looked like he was biting on his tail for a <laughs> sec, but yeah, now he's just drying it up Trying too. To like, dry up. yeah, now he's already been doing that for like the last 20 minutes. Yeah, that was some sentimental time for Smokey after he had been groomed. Anyway, so now I'm at club room looking through some of the sweaters the sweatshirts even the shirts and all these are right now on 25 percent you see on both sides i guess this is one of those inside out jacket oh no it isn't and uh, oh wow look how soft that is like you can feel it like it's just as soft as leather i just found an interesting matchup here so you just pants and this sweater here and the fact that it's a large man what a matchup that would be this so yeah i mean i do have some like like that in that color too except we bought that one from hillfigure and oh look at this one this is a ridge ray radio <laughs> yes that's really really sophisticating that's like a ski polo shirt right there like how did they come up with these now that's the magic of being in Palo Alto, Florida. I mean, it would be hard to find any of this stuff in, you know, like, even in Polo Association. Oh, yeah, 
that's the beauty of being wool look at this one by the way just look at how they put it on the arms like that and throughout the vest and the inside of it you can see this is orange wow what a design i never even thought that i saw such complex sewing design but if i switch to the back oh wow there's even the yellow square tile right there in the back of it now oh, it's all blue anyway <laughs> but yeah the front of it that would be fun that'd be fun to look at like just imagine what it would take while doing the sewing process right and yeah that's exactly that point that i got the shirt i'm currently wearing and yeah the starting lineup i think where one of them is a baseball bat i don't even have my shirt there anymore i still have this reef hat right here see that one on the top like i did show you this last time as well i still have that but the t-shirt i'm wearing i don't have it anymore uh, look even in this area you can take photos with santa here where they got these events between november 17th and december 24th yeah you can notice the typo there where it says december 14th and there's a coastal light show every night between november 17th and january 5th i'm just leaving the area and just how overcrowded it is there this afternoon and look i got this slingshot right in front yeah. of us here there's a oh yeah there's a slingshot well that somehow turned out to be a coincidence i just passed and i believe this is the largest oh look at this yeah that's something brand new here it's a 760i I like the that one that the one with the largest engine true Oh, my mom even has two BMWs. One of them's the X1, and the other one is 160i. 760i. <laughs> through the sun like that's how long it is it's just like think of a python snake and think about how long this line can go, can go through the sun well it is 4 39 i got back in the neighborhood after what a tour and look another long mark like this is even longer than the one that I found while we were driving back home. This is insane. Okay, I can actually see it from here all the way until like, just look how long it goes. It's like a freaking rainbow that passes from one cloud to another. Like, just how freaking long that is. Astonishing. Yeah. And there's a couple of rabbits there too. Play nine and seek. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, this thing should be as much as 2,500 cc. The 760i that me and my father were having a look at while heading out is as much as 6,000 
cc like even my mom's car that's about 1800 cc but that red one at 6000 cc it's kind of mad to think that way honestly anyway so you can now see a part of that moon there as it's already gone post sunset now and you can tell from the cloud cover is why those long marks have appeared in the sky from all of these planes like it's much longer than what you expect in terms of length well anyway guys at least that's a nice way to round off what has been two entertaining weeks where on tuesday last week we went to crypto arena to watch the laker game that was amusing then friday we went to the coronado hotel spent a wonderful night there first for this week on wednesday i went to a movie theater and watched something i really dreamt about wizard of oz and on friday we went to the convention center in la it was an epic walk that was fun but now from here i am gonna have to get back to the typical daily bullshit with the studies and all that stuff well there i just about to make it out of the woods as you can see this moon over here i did say that this was a full moon yesterday oh wow now i just end up with a freaking dog there well there it dispersed at last I mean, that's not a fox, it's not a coyote, it's actually a dog. Like, what kind of a freaking nerd would just leave their dog hanging in there? Like, this is why I don't like him. She dog! <laughs> yeah, I mean, where the hell are we? Like, Las Vegas, where I can go coyote hunting? Oh, there comes another rabbit. <laughs> well, I got my gun, go coyote hunting. Stay hunting or what? This ain't Las Vegas. Yeah, at the end of that bike ride, I went on to ride around those houses that have all of these lightings. It was the whole day special. And especially that place that they have inflatables, particularly the dragon, the yak, and the deer. That's fantastic. That's a fantastic decoration for the holidays. Other than that point that is close to our house where there's the inflatable snowman, some reason they didn't get that up yet, but it'll be it'll be great to put that up as well with the Santa. And other than that, it's been a day full of work, getting Smokey's hair groomed. He's still having difficulties keeping himself together, even after all these hours, even after it got dark. And it has been kind of a relaxing day for me as well, although I did do some bit of homework. It's gonna be an interesting week, the coming week because I am going to make it to my school three times during the week, especially one on Friday evening, where we'll get to see that concert. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of today's vlog. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed it. Do leave a like and subscribe. That would be nice. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.